One major factor affecting the stability of an atom is its size. Large atoms can emit particles to make themselves smaller. The other major factor in the stability of atomic nuclei is the ratio of neutrons to protons. The ideal ratio for stability follows a slightly curved and irregular line as shown by the dots on the graph. This ideal ratio increases as the atoms get bigger. Large atoms can reduce their size and slightly increase the ratio of neutrons to protons by emitting an alpha particle. An alpha particle is essentially a fast-moving helium nucleus consisting of two protons and two neutrons. Taking this example of plutonium decaying to form uranium, if we write the equation out in linear format, then notice that the equation is balanced. The numbers on the top line, which are the nucleon numbers, add up to 240 on the left and 240 on the right. The bottom line refers to the number of protons. Note that they add up to 94, both on the left and upon the right. There are two types of beta decay, most commonly beta minus, which is the emission of an electron, or beta plus, the emission of a positron. Beta minus emission occurs when the neutron-proton ratio is too high, as in this example of radium decay. In effect, one of the neutrons in the nucleus splits to become a proton, which remains in the nucleus, and an electron, which is emitted at high velocity. Again, the top line of numbers, which are the nucleon numbers, and the bottom line of numbers, which are the proton numbers, are equal on both sides of the equation. The neutrinos, which are also emitted in this process, have very little mass and no charge. Check out the Atomic Physics section on the website for more information. Beta plus, or positron emission, can occur when the neutron-proton ratio is too low. In effect, a proton spits out a positron, with the major part remaining behind as a neutron. The production of a positron, however, requires a significant amount of energy. Once again, examine the balance of nucleon number on both sides of the equation and proton number on both sides of the equation. Electron capture also occurs when the number of protons in the nucleus is too high, and it requires less energy than for positron emission. As before, the nuclear equation is balanced both in terms of nucleon numbers and proton numbers. Gamma rays are very short and very high energy electromagnetic radiation. It is the form of energy emitted, either accompanying or following alpha or beta radiation, and is also produced when an electron and positron mutually annihilate. Of itself, it makes no change to the structure of an isotope. Thank you for watching. Further notes are available on the website.